everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have for you today a starting score haul. I have done one of these before but I think it's handy just to run through it every year for people that are starting school or would just appreciate a refresher. I think I've laid everything out that we need. I've just been having a trying on session today and it's all pretty similar to last year. There's a few changes with what they're allowed to take and what they're not allowed to take at the moment with the Covid situation. Um, but yeah, I think I've listed everything. I hope you're all doing okay. And if you've got little ones starting, um, it's a big, big thing. It's still nerve wracking, even though mine's been at school for a year, it's still really hard to think of them going back. So I hope you find it useful. I'll see you soon. So I'm just gonna run through the school hall that I've got ready for my son to start. He has been there a year already, so he's getting into the next year. So we've been through all of this for one year already but it's always handy just to run through again for people that have got new children at school or they're at a different school. Excuse the fact it's on our very creased bedding. I wanted to put all of this out on the dining room table, but having two kids home and a husband is making it a bit tricky. So I've just got on with it and popped it in our room. I'll just start down this bit first. So here I've got a pack from Sainsbury's and they are a pack of three unisex polo shirts. All schools are different, but the primary school that my son goes to basically give you the choice to have a long sleeve polo shirt, short sleeve polo shirt or an actual shirt. So we've discounted the actual shirt because of the fiddly buttons. He is quite small still and we're just trying to make it easy for him and for the teachers. We've actually got two packs of the short sleeve t-shirts. I try with the whole uniform to get five of everything so that I can potentially send him to school every day of the week in a clean uniform if I need to. You never know what state they're going to come out of school in, so I just find it easier. So obviously these are three packs, so I've got six, which is good, just in case we get one totally messed up or make holes in it or something. And then this year, which I didn't do last year, I've actually got a long sleeve pack as well just for the winter my son's got a heart condition as i've mentioned before and one of the side effects is that he gets cold really really easily the teachers mentioned that he was getting quite cold in the classroom last year we thought this year we'd send him in in a vest and then on a particularly cold day we'd put a long sleeve polo shirt and a jumper on so i didn't have those last year but i think that they're probably coming quite handy they were eight pounds from mns for a double pack over to here and we've got long gray trousers I know that again the schools have different colours, some are black, some are grey, some are navy, it depends on the school. And for these I've got a range of sizes. So basically my son has got the teeny tiniest waist I've ever seen. He certainly doesn't take after me. So I've got a pair and these are M&S regular leg but slim fit and they've got the adjustable waist. I've got him two lots of age three to four, two lots of age four to five because they are a bit big on him but they do still just about fit without falling down. And then I've actually got a double pack of Sainsbury's four years. These are actually no good. I just had a trying on session with him this morning they're so, so big, they just fall off his waist. So they're gonna go away for next year. And so we've actually this year got four pairs of gray trousers. We've still got plenty from last year, which could do at a push. They're just a bit worn on the knees and things, but they will do if I desperately, desperately needed more than four pairs. But I'm thinking that this is probably enough because I do washing normally like every other day, sometimes every day, so that will be fine. And then over here, I've actually got four pairs of shorts. He didn't end up wearing summer shorts last year at all, uh, but I thought I'd better get them. So I've actually got two pairs from M&S and a double pack from Sainsbury's. Again, I've tried these on and they're huge, but these ones will fit him. So I've got those ones. Just moving up to here and I've actually got these blue jumpers. These are from Sainsbury's, sorry the lighting's not great and I've actually got five years old this year. Still on the small side but he's so small. Um, and these were actually a double pack for four pounds so it only works out two pound a jumper. So I got him two double packs so he's got four plain blue jumpers for school and we've got one logo jumper which I bought for him in advance last year. 
and they're so expensive. I think it wasn't far short of £15 for one jumper, which is crazy. 90% uh, of the kids, I would say, just wear a plain jumper for most of the time. And then they tend to just hang on to the logo jumper for school photograph days, any special visits, or if they go up to the church, if it's depending on the school that they're at. So yeah, most of the time he will go in in these plain blue jumpers and occasionally he'll wear a logo one. And again, that's one for every day of the week, just in case we need it. To be honest, the jumpers do get grubby. They come home with pen marks and they get their school dinners down them. So I think we probably do need five jumpers. We could probably get away with potentially less t-shirts and trousers if we needed to, but jumpers definitely come home grubby. So <laughs> quite pleased I've got those. And just over here, this is our PE kit. So in their school, PE kit basically consists of navy joggers, a navy jumper, which these two are, I've got two of each of those. That's their winter PE kit. Their summer PE kit is just a round neck, white t-shirt and black shorts. They wear those most of the time, but as they get older, they might go out for PE. So basically I've got a pack of three t-shirts because that's how they came, two packs of the soft shorts and then two of these jumper and jogging sets. They were all TU, Sainsbury's again, they were all less than five pounds. The reason I've got him two lots for this year is because although they only have PE one day a week while they're small, with everything happening with COVID, they're actually wearing their PE kit in on PE day and they're not changing. So every PE day once a week, they will be going into school in their kit and staying in it. So I thought I would get one and one spare just in case any get lost or ripped or anything like that. So yeah, this year he's got those. And then carrying on the PE theme, they actually wear black plimsolls in their school. Again, some schools wear trainers, some wear plimsolls. They get the choice. These were from... TU, which is Sainsbury's again, and they were only three pounds for plimsolls, which is just so good. So yeah, I'll send those in with him for PE. Even on the day when they wear their PE kit in, I would imagine they would still wear shoes. So I'm sure these will just live at school. And then I've got a five pack of grey socks because that's their school colour and they were 3 50 from Sainsbury's as well. I actually got everything from Sainsbury's last year and they had a 25% off sale. So it was literally just making these sorts of things a couple of pound each so it's very slightly more this year so I don't think they've had 25% off but still so reasonable and then I've got him some black school shoes these are from Clark's and stupid money I think they were probably around about 30 odd pound 35 pound the most expensive buy ever I've had to take a bit of a guess at his size and I've kind of just gone up a size from last September and I'm hoping they'll be all right but I think Clark's are doing something where you can take your shoes back and swap them for the correct size if they don't fit. So I'm gonna get him to try those on later today and hopefully they will fit. We actually always just get him Velcro while he's small. They do a variety of ones and obviously they will learn to lace up, but it's yet again, just something to make life easier for him and the teachers because they're obviously expected to be able to do most things on their own in year R. Anything just to help out. I've just come up to this section now and I've got him some thick thermal gloves, a hat which covers his ears and an old scarf. I don't buy anything new and it doesn't match or anything because these sorts of things, they seem to get lost all the time. So these are just bits that we've had for ages, like a Thomas the Tank scarf, which he doesn't really wear anymore, an old hat that still fits. And then I picked these gloves up from Sainsbury's for a couple of pound a long, long time ago. So that always goes into school with him. And then also a pair of waterproof trousers, which always lived in his pee bag last year. So again, it's slightly different this year because I think they're limiting what they can take in. This here is the PE bag that we put all the bits in that I showed you for PE. I had it personalized on eBay. Basically where my hand is, is his full name and it says PE bag. That was only four or five pounds and I got that done last year. It's lasted really well. And it's just really handy to have a personalized PE bag so that you haven't got a mad scramble for when they're getting their PE kit out of their lockers or off their peg. It just seemed to make it easier. The only thing I would change if I was to get another one a different time, I'd go for a real like unusual colour like lime green or orange. A lot of people have blue. It still doesn't stand out, but you can personalise it with key rings as well as their name and stuff. So that's been really handy. And then a lunchbox and a bottle. I've got to just 
personalise these up so that they don't go walk about. He generally has school meals still because he's small, but we have got one of these bento style boxes. So we're going to wait and see what the school dinners are like this year. After the first few days, we'll judge and see whether he wants to stick with dinners or if he wants to go there. And then just a big bottle and we stick his name all over that. Um, you soon learn whether or not there's duplicates with other kids. They know what to look out for if it's plastered in personalised bits. This is his book bag. And these are a book bag label, which I got made on eBay and some personalised stickers, which are just on the other side with his name. Again, I'm really not sure whether or not they're going to be taking book bags in. They're just really trying to cut it down to water bottle and a lunch bag, as far as I'm aware. But we obviously already purchased all of this for last year, so it may or may not go in. But anyway, they've got it. Last but not least here, we have his coat lovely thick coat this was from next and it's lasted really well it was his coat last year and i'm thinking that he can probably wear it again i've gone for a waterproof one which is fleece lined with a hood and cuffed sleeves so it keeps him really warm out in the playground and then they are expected to take some welly boots at the beginning of the term so that if there's a lot of puddles around at playtime then they can wear them and they basically just live at school for the whole school year. So these were actually last year's, but his feet haven't grown hugely. So they will in fact do another few months, which is good. And that is everything. What I would just say just before I end the video is that we found it really important to label as much as we could. Every single item of clothing, shoes, drink bottles, lunch bags absolutely everything it sounds awful but we had a lot of people say to us if you can just permanent marker their names on all their clothes and belongings because it's been known it's awful isn't it but it's been known for people to have labels cut out where they had sticky labels on with their name tags i guess you know people are desperate for different reasons but it's been known that labels have been cut out in various schools and things in the past so we did actually go through all of his belongings and put stickers on but also on the items which we knew that we probably would replace year on year. We actually permanent marked them where we could, which just seems a little bit excessive, but it did the job. So yeah, I would just uh, say that as my top tip. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that would be great. I'm on Instagram with the name mama underscore hedgehog too, and on channel mom with the name mama hedgehog. Let me know if there's any other videos that you like, because I'm happy to give them a whirl. And yeah, have a lovely week and I will see you all soon. Bye.